Hello and welcome. I'm doing a small video on an image I took in the Faroe Islands. I've got uh, Luminar Nero, Nero, Neo, Luminar Neo open, and I just want to have a quick play with it. And I'm going to sort of bring you along with me why I do it. Um, I'm very, very new to this software. I've only used it once or twice. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's give let's give it a go. So I'm going to go straight into the Develop module, and uh, we're going to adjust. Contrast, give it a little bit of smart contrast. We want a bit of contrast there. We're going to drop our highlights to try and bring in the sky again. And we're going to up the shadows a little bit to bring some of this foreground back in. Um, we are then going to go into the curves to add a little bit more contrast. We're just going to tap on the S curve and pump out a little bit of an S curve. So we have two little points on there, drop the blacks and higher the uh, whites. Color. Don't think I need to warm it up, maybe a tiny bit. No, not at all. What about dropping it and cooling it down a little bit? Nope. I'm leaving the temperature exactly as it is, but I will have a little bit of vibrance because that's just going to pop out some of the colors in the rocks and in the sky a little bit. Uh, what else? We've got sharpness. I like to sharpen my images a bit. So I'm going to sharpen them up, bring the mask in right up. So we're just sharpening the edges and we're just going to drop the radius down so it's not too harsh. Um, this is stuff that I've learned from using Lightroom and Photoshop. Uh, I've not really scratched yet on the uh, artificial intelligence in this in Neo. Uh, noise reduction, we don't want optics and transform, we don't really want. So done with the develop, let's go into enhance and uh, let's have a little bit of sky enhancement, shall we? Let's whack this up and see what this does. Yes, I like that. I like that a lot. So a bit of sky enhancement, and a bit of an accent. That's looking a little bit nicer. Drop that back down. In all of these, you can actually have um, masking as well. But I'm just going to go globally for now while learning what I'm doing with this. Uh, structure. Let's give it some structure because I think this needs to be gritty and pumped out. So a little bit of structure is quite nice. I'm just going to boost it a little bit. Look what it's doing to the sky as well. That looks fantastic, doesn't it? Uh, colors. I'm not going to mess with the colors too much because I don't quite know what I'm doing with colors. Detail, yes, we definitely want some detail popping out some of the fine details and maybe some of the large detail. We'll just give that one just to see what we can do with that. Maybe two. That's looking good. I think a bit more fine detail. Let's turn it up to seven. Look at the way it's bringing out all this grittiness all around the edges and even the water's looking a bit sharper. I like that as well. And again, you can mask it. Uh, you can bring up different masks. Uh, you can even bring up the AI mask. Um, but again, I don't know what I'm doing quite with that. Noise, we don't need noise. Landscape is foliage dehaze. What happens if we pump up the dehaze? We'll get a little bit of something going on, but not a lot. What about a bit of gold now? Do you want to try and add a little bit of colour to it? That's quite nice. I quite like that. See where it's bringing a little bit of, 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 of like a, a gold warmer tinge to it. And we've got no foliage in there. So yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's brought out quite a lot. Let's have a look before and after. Before and after. Before and after. Definitely, definitely bringing out the sky and the detail in there. Uh, vignette. I like to add a vignette. So I'm just going to darken down the edges a little bit. Uh, bring the vignette down. Can't see it too well. Let's have a little look. Let's toggle it on and off. It's not really doing a lot. What about bringing the size down a little bit? Give my computer a chance to catch up. Off. On. Maybe my computer's just running a little bit slower till it's darkening it right down. So, ah, there we go. So if we darken it right down, we can actually we can see what it's doing. There we go. We're getting a, a higher, a bit of highlight in the center. So we're just going to back that up just a little bit. That's it. Just a slow, little bit of a, Vignette. Um, right, what else we got? Relight. So, I'm not quite sure about relighting the image. So, let's try brightness near. Let's whack the brightness near up. What does this do? And you're going to have to wait for my computer to catch up a little bit. Is it going to do anything? Toggle it off, toggle it on. Ah, yeah. You can see in the bottom of the image, it's definitely brought up some. Highlight in the foreground a little bit. Yeah, quite like that. Uh, 
What about highlight far? What does that do? Oh no, terrible. What about dropping that down? No, double click, go back to normal. Uh, depth. So if we bring the highlight depth up a little bit, you can just see it's it's bringing all this in the foreground there. So just toggle it off, toggle it on, toggle it off, toggle it on. Yeah, it's definitely doing something quite nice. Sky. This is a sky replacement. I don't think I need to replace my sky because the sky looks pretty good. But I will just have a play and just see what it looks like if I do change it to like a sunset sky. What does that actually look like when it comes on? Oh, oh, I quite like that. I quite like that a lot. So I'm going to keep that. Uh, I wasn't expecting to like that, but I think that looks pretty good. Uh, there are other skies near blue, dramatic. Dramatic sky, dynamic sunsets. Mm. No, I quite like that. I don't, didn't think I would. Oh, don't want that one. Didn't think I would like that, but I, I do like that. Let's just toggle it off. My sky, fake sky. My sky, fake sky. But it's not just changing the sky. If you look here at the bottom as well, it's changing the colours of the rocks. My sky is blue, fake sky. Yeah, I quite like that. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. It's, we're using it as a, as a as a magic thing, aren't we? Let's let's try it. Horizon positioning's good. Mask refinement. That's I think that's for sky and global. That's okay. Scene reflections. Reflections. That gives the the tint. If you look at the tint down here in the water, it's actually tinting it the same as the sky. That's brilliant. That is absolutely brilliant. Right, so we've got a new sky. What about some atmosphere? Can we have a little bit of fog? <laughs> Let's try fog. What does fog do? Well, interesting. It's now fogging up the background a little bit. Don't think we need fog, do we? What else have we got in here? Fog, layered fog, mist, and haze. What's layered fog? Let's try layered fog. Back it up so we see what it does. All the way up. Can't quite see what it's doing. It's sort of adding some in the middle, isn't it? But not very good. What about mist? Let's have a look at the mist. Don't think we need mist. Certainly spoiling the atmosphere a little bit. And haze. Let's try haze. Uh, haze is giving you a little bit of something in the in the midground. I quite like that. Let's toggle that on and off. On and off. Yeah, I quite like the fact that it's just giving a little bit of haze in the middle. Um, maybe not so much. Bring it down a little bit, a little bit less. Yeah, I quite like that. Um, sun rays. Do we need a sun ray? That's the thing. Oh, we don't need sun ray up there, considering the sun's down here. That's just stupid. What about if um, we move the sun? So if we place the sun on the top there, where the sun actually is, and then bring this down. Is this a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Sun ray length. Go longer. Uh, sun ray look. Go down, up. Just not sure about that. Penetration. Not sure I like that. Turn that off. Turn it on. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe go down a little tiny. So it's only just a couple of percentage. Off on. Can you bring down the brightness? So that's the thing. I'd like to say you could, but I don't know how to. Penetration right down. Oh, maybe that's it. So just have a little bit on and off. So yeah, it's just giving a little bit of a a tint of something there. Okay, we'll keep that. Um, dramatic. What does dramatic do? Ooh no. Ooh no no no. Definitely not that back down mood choose a mood what mood have we got ah this is where it, you can change different styles portraits cross processing what does cross processing let's have a look at that oh yucky yuck go back on don't like that uh toning i'm not sure about tone in the image matte it gives you a matte feel doesn't it slightly flatter 
feel to the image. And again, it's something I quite like, but uh, mystical. Mystical. What does mystical do? It's making it look a little bit dreamy like, isn't it? So we don't really want mystical. I'm going to leave a couple of percent in there. Why not? Uh, film grain glow. We got soft glow, autumn effect. Autumn effect's always quite nice. Let's have a look at that. That's just punching the colours, and we don't need that then. Right. I think that looks quite a lot different to the original. In fact, it looks lovely. <laughs> there you go. Five minutes or whatever it is, me messing with the uh, Illuminar Neo. I just wanted to see what I could do to that image. And uh, off, on, off and on. The sky replacement's amazing. Tones, it changes all the tonal range of the image. Can't get there at sunset or sunrise, so it's definitely a way of faking the shot. So uh, if you're interested in uh, this uh, Luminar Neo, I'll leave some links in the description below and any product codes and uh, affiliated links will be down there as well. So please check it out. I think it's really good. It's well worth the money, I think, because if you've got images that are very flat, very boring, very lifeless and you want to bring them up. Uh, I mean, this isn't a lifeless image as such. Um, well, maybe it is. Uh, and I brought a lot of it back and give it something else, um, another breath of life. So uh, if you want something like that, this AI, artificial intelligence, and I'm scratching the surface, I don't know how to use it yet. I'm gonna learn and uh, yeah, I think it's well worth it. See you soon, bye-bye.